Shonda with Live and More again with another soap video. And today I will be doing a very colorful soap. Um, and it's going to be a very tropical scented soap. Some pineapple, some mango, some coconut, a little lime. And I'm soaping low today. I'm using a new fragrance oil. So I'm not exactly sure how it's going to behave. Um, I'm hoping that it it behaves very well, but I will also be doing a pipe top on this one as well. The top will be piped, um, and it will be white. The base will be. Um, this pretty neon yellow, this pretty neon blue, and this pretty neon pink. And of course they look different out of the, the, um, the bottle. And if you guys want to have a good idea of what they really look like, you kind of see these melt and pour. They're um, shaped in little... Um, lips. <laughs> I had a brain fart, you guys. Alright, so I'm going to actually just separate this out into three colors. Not much, because the swirl that I'll be doing, it's not going to be the primary color in this. I'm thinking that the primary color will be a white. Okay, I'm going to actually, I have some ground oatmeal here, and I'm going to put just a little bit in here. And I want to kind of create like something that kind of looks like sand. So I'm not going to put any fragrance oil in this. Uh, this will be poured at the bottom of the mold. But I will be fragrancing the, the rest. Let me just even them out just a little bit. Make sure that they're kind of all the same. Okay. I am actually not going to be speaking too much in the video, you guys, because I don't want you guys to have to waste your time listening to me rant. Let's see here. So far, so good. I have my daughter with me today, you guys, Jaqueline, Miss Jaqueline, and she's going to be my little helper. If you can pass me the mold, Jaqueline. and I will be using my standard little mold right here, you guys. Now, I got these colorants from TKB Trading. And let's see, I am going to put the pink here in the blue first. So I'm going to start off with one drop because, again, these are highly pigmented. And I'm just going to keep adding as I go. until I get the desired color that I'm looking for.
and again, this is my first time working with these neon colorants, so let's see. Ooh, there we go. I'm getting my blue. And I don't know if you guys, I'm sorry about the angle. I have like a tiny, itty bitty space to work with. Okay, so what I am envisioning is a little bit of a mica line here, and this is just um, cocoa powder. Gonna take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and kind of spritz my paper towel. Kind of clean up these edges because I don't really want them to be kind of smeared with the cocoa powder. Again, I have named this soap because in my mind, I am envisioning it to look a certain way. But the final outcome of it ultimately will determine whether or not um, it will be named what it is that I said it would be named. Okay, blue, pink. All right, now we're going to go ahead. This is going to be our base. And I've just decided, you know what, I'm not going to play with it. I'm going to go ahead and do it white. Why? Because I just think white looks better when you have neon colors. So I will mix the titanium dioxide in and see how far I need to go. I need a little bit more. So I'll pour in a little more. titanium dioxide you what is titanium dioxide it allows you to have a way wider shape not going to be completely white, but um, I'm happy.
Alright, hey you guys, it's LaShonda back, and I have um, just mixed my lye, water, and with my oil. I am soaping at a very cool temperature um, for this um, piping. So my lye water is at 65 and my oils is at 75 and this might take a little time to kind of set up you guys I am going to just pipe it in and these will be samples for my customers. Ooh, I'm sorry you guys, this thing is really doing it. Um going in and out of focus. So I do apologize. Okay, maybe I need to just zoom out a little bit. I'm not too experienced with the camera, you guys. I'm sorry. It's not one of my most talented things to do. I'm really not. Um, bad experience. So what I did, I did not scent the frosting itself because, again, I'm not exactly sure if the, the fragrance oil is going to um, 
this color or not. Um, so we're going to wait on that. Where is... Alright. Give this a good spritz in. And you guys, like I said, I have these really cute um, lip, Ooh. let me see, these really cute lip um, molds, but before I do that, I need to pause the video so I can go get the ruler and know where to strategically place my embed. Okay. this way all right you guys and we are back and this right here is the or what will be the um, candy kisses so please do not judge me on my placement of my embeds because well But look, it got lots of glitter. And I cannot wait to cut this thing tomorrow, you guys. I am super excited. Uh, and of course, the leftover soap were just piped in just, you know, little ploop ploops. Alright, so that's all, you guys. I have completed the soap. I'm going to go ahead and clean up. And tomorrow, you guys will get to see what it looks like on the inside. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. And I will see you soon. Bye. Mic check.